Hey folks, it's Mike. Um, I'm out in uh, the country north of uh, north of the city of Winnipeg. Uh, just trying to see if I can uh, catch the uh, the Perseid meteor shower uh, tonight. Uh, it's uh, middle of August. It uh, peaks around about this time every year. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a shot and uh, see what I can do. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so it's dark out. Not sure if you can actually see through to this camera, um, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 out in the country and uh, shooting the stars. Uh, well, specifically the the Perseid meteor shower. Uh, hopefully tonight that I can get some some nice shots of it. Um, so I'm looking at a, a tree just off the road here and uh, um, stars in the sky. Uh, you might not be able to see it. Um, I, yeah. So, um, did start out with my 24 to 105. Um, yeah, it, it's of course dark enough where it does an okay job, not great. So I've switched to my Tokina 11 to 16, uh, which is doing a better job. Um, of course, the fun thing about that is that the uh, 11 to 16, um, much wider field of view uh, versus the 24 to 105, which as an EF, I'll, whatever, don't worry about that stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm just uh, just taking shots of the, uh, the meteor shower. Um, have some shots of, I think it's the Star Lake satellite. So when I go and stack photos uh, later on, I'm going to remove though that uh, that satellite from the uh, the, uh, the photos, um, leaving hopefully just the meteor shower, and try and stack a few of those together just to get a nice sort of you know meteor shower type of um, stacked photo. And of course, uh, in terms of uh, preparations for uh, this evening, um, it is mid-August, so things are getting a little cooler at night. Um, I think when I stopped here, it was about 17 Celsius, which normally is not too bad, but I mean, it, you know, out in the country, it's, it's feeling cooler than it would in the city at, at that temperature. Um, so I've, you know, currently wearing a long sleeve shirt um, I'll probably switch to my hoodie soon enough. Um, I, I don't think I need a winter jacket this time. Um, not like back in, in May uh, when I was shooting the, uh, the Northern Lights when I kind of needed, still needed my winter jacket. Um, and uh, didn't bring any hand warmers. Uh, don't think I'll need those. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, also, um, I've got uh, no mitts, so hopefully I don't need those either, uh, or a toque. Um, I suppose worst case scenario, I'll put on a, a, a you know reusable grocery bag on my head, cover my ears, that kind of thing. Could work, but I don't think I need to worry about that right now. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm done shooting for now. Um, I'm, you know, uh, aside from shots of the, uh, the the night sky, I'm also taking some, some dark frames and uh, some bias frames just to sort of, um, when I snack, stack, snack things together, sure, I can try and snack things together, but uh, it's easier if I stack them together. Um, so stack them all together, reduce any noise, reduce any sort of hot pixels, uh, reduce any uh, snacking. Uh, which I can do in my office, which I'd rather do in my office. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to send myself to my office to continue this, this the madness. What? It's my office. I don't want it snack. Uh. 
All right. Um, I will say that uh, I went out uh, a couple the, the next couple of nights after um, when I you know recorded that uh, the stuff out out in the field out in the country, um, and uh, with what you're seeing here in Photoshop, it's uh, from Birds Hill Provincial Park um, on the third night, um, where. As you can see, I saw the Northern Lights. I actually saw the Northern Lights all three nights. Um, but uh, I'd say with the uh, the night at Birds Hill Park, um, it, it was a good combination of both the Perseid Meteor Shower and the Northern Lights. Um, this is one of the shots from uh, the uh, from the meteor shower uh, that I took, um, and I decided to also combine a couple of other photos in with it just to sort of give you uh, more of an idea of uh, an, you know, an actual meteor shower shot. Um, so yeah, I had to, uh, of course, you know, bring in uh, all three images, plus a copy of one of the other images uh, into uh, Photoshop and then uh, paint in uh, the, the meteor shower, um, you know, um, well, the falling meteors. Yeah, um, as you can see here, um, this is uh, the first shot, um, which has you know a meteor here, meteor here. Uh, I think there was one other one down here somewhere. I can't remember. Um, and then uh, I added in um, another shot, which had meteor, you know, like here and a couple other places. Uh, and as well um, with a couple of other um, of the shots. Um, what I ended up doing was um, just sort of moving them around just so that I could have, you know, meteor falling in a different part of the sky. Um, and, you know, and uh, actually, we'll also say one of the other shots that I took um, was completely at a different time um, from the same night, I believe. Uh, and uh, yeah, as, as, as you can see, it's, it's all combined into this, uh, this neat little uh, shot of the Perseid meteor shower uh, with the northern lights. And uh, as I say, I'm, uh, I went out uh, three nights in a row to sh try and shoot all the, uh, the Perseid meteor shower and of course, coincidentally, the, uh, the northern lights. Um, as you can see, this is uh, a shot from the second night um, somewhere east of Selkirk. Um, and beautiful shot. The northern lights were just shining right down on this, this tree in the field. Um, also, as you can see though, there are phone lines, power lines, right through the shot, which, bit distracting, kind of takes away from the beauty of the photo itself. Uh, so I spent some time in Photoshop just removing um, the uh, those lines plus uh, some background uh, lights that uh, that you can sort of see um, here and, and here uh, and uh, here's the final shot which I really love to be honest it's uh, it it sort of gives you that feeling of uh, just the heavens looking down on you um, you know as you say sit under a tree um, Beautiful. That's all I can say. On that note, I'm going to pass myself back out to the field to, to finish it off. So, yeah. All right, uh, back out in the field, uh, just to say good night and uh, do the usual like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time.